Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Here we've got a cube with rounded edges and as you can see we've got some visible seams here in the noise. So how can we get rid of them? It's actually very easy. There's a technique called triplanar mapping and since Cinema 4D release 20 we have got a node for that in our node-based material system. So here I already created an Uber material which is basically a node-based material with an interface that is close to the interface that you are used to. We've got the diffuse channel here and a noise applied to the color and this is what you see here. So before we add the triplanar mapping let's get rid of the fillet and now let's replace the noise with the triplanar node. Therefore we have to click that button here, go to replace node, context, triplanar. And here we've got our triplanar node applied. We click on it and here we can see what we can set up. So basically we can assign a color or a texture to each single side of the cube here. X, Y and Z. So let's do this. Let's start with Y plus because that's the top. And let's also create a color for C minus which should be blue. And now let's create an interactive render region. And now we see that we've got a green top, a blue side and all of the other sides are gray. But as you can see we've got very sharp edges here between the colors and this is because the cube has got no fillets anymore. So let's reactivate the fillets. And now you can see there is a blending going on between those colors. So now let's add a noise to all of the sides and see if the blending is smooth. Therefore we click this little button again and go to connect node, generator, noise. Then we click this button here, go to connect node, existing nodes and we use the very same noise as we used in the other slot. And we will do this until we have every side covered with that noise. Done. Now you can see that it works, so we've got smooth transitions even if we adjust the noise and go to Luca like we used before and it still looks very good. So now let's make the other model visible and see if it works here as well. I already prepared another triplanar material for that and as I release the mouse and it starts to render you can see that it works quite well. So let's zoom in maybe to some side like this here. Now the noise is a bit more subtle, but you can still see that there is a smooth transition going on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.